Belgium. Good morning everyone, it's me Evie. What I have for you guys today is two salads, kind of the same, kind of not. One's gonna be with ham and the other one's gonna be with um, like imitation crab meat. So yeah, stay tuned for the ingredients. All right, so the ingredients are gonna be, of course, one pound of the elbow macaroni, um, mayonnaise, your choice, this is my favorite one. I'm going to use a little bit of milk. Yes, I have more milk. I'm just going to finish using this one up. A little bit of sour cream. Um, the fancy pimentos, which are red roasted pimentos. A little bit of onion, green pepper for crunch, salt pepper to taste, imitation crab meat like I already mentioned, and then we have cubed ham. Okay guys, so what I'm doing now, I'm putting my um, a big pot of hot water. I'm gonna let that come to a boil. And I'm gonna add two teaspoons of salt to this water. You want your pasta to be a little salty, guys. So it's one, two. I'm gonna check and see if it needs a little bit more. We're gonna shake it. Ugh. Okay, that nice. Just mixing it around. The water, my water is hot. It's not that hot though. Didn't come out that hot from the faucet. So I'm just gonna give it a quick taste. No. I'm gonna put one more teaspoon. Like I said, you want your pasta salty because we're gonna um, drain it later and run it under cold water, guys. I'll explain that. You do not want to put mayo on hot pasta. All that's going to happen is that the pasta is going to absorb it and you're just going to have a greasy mess. It will not be creamy. So this is why I run it under cold water. You can adjust seasoning as you are putting, all the, putting your salad together and you can taste it for salt. I'm going to give it a quick taste again. Should be better. Yes, three tablespoons, good. I mean, not tablespoons, teaspoons. Remember, you could adjust it as you're um, putting all your salad together. So, we're just going to let this come to a boil. Meanwhile, that happens, let's cut up our veggies, guys. Okay, guys, while the water is going to start to boil, please make sure to um, rinse off your veggies, guys, whichever one's meat rinsing. And what we're going to do is... We are going to take all these seeds off for sure. And what we're going to do is we're going to dice them up in small little pieces, guys. I like green peppers, but for my salad, I don't want it to be really big and bulky. I just removed the inside, the little where the stem was. So yeah guys, one of these, they're both based the same way, I make them the same way. It's just that for one of them I add crab meat and for the other one I add um, diced ham. Gabby likes the, the, um, the imitation crab meat. Me and the hubby, well I, I like both of them, so does the hubby. I think I'm going to have more of a preference with um, the crab meat. She don't like seafood, but she likes that, so I'm excited she's going to be having it. So yeah, guys, I was going to say, if you guys like celery, you can add it. Just dice it really small, too, and just put it in here. I didn't put it because, guys, I don't like the flavor of celery. Neither does Gabriela, so yeah, I don't add it. But if you want that extra crunch, guys... Feel free to add. As a matter of fact, guys, you can add anything, anything that you guys want here. You know what I mean? 
if you like veggies if you like um carrots just anything with a nice crunch just add it in here guys make the salad your own you know what i mean i caught them tiny guys and this knife is extra sharp so guess who's being careful It's Monday. What did you guys do during the weekend? I love spending time with you guys. Other when I go live, I love the interaction with my subbies. I love that. You know what I want you guys to do? I want you to um, I want to do a Q and A. So I want you guys to um ask me any questions, guys. I'm an open book. You can ask me. Do not get perverted. I will not be answering those questions. But anything else? Yeah, guys. I'm done. Ask me anything you want. See how small I dice them? If you guys like more crunch, you like them bigger, add them bigger. Like I said, make the salad your own. I just make mine with small pieces because, yeah, I don't like all that in my face like that. But I do love the flavor that it adds to the salads, guys. I love peppers. And the red ones, I love to cook with them because they're nice and sweet. I don't know if you guys are friends with me or you follow me on Instagram. But I put a picture of where I made some chicken potatoes and red, orange, and green peppers for my son in the oven. My God, I went and had it the next day because I didn't eat that same day. I had it already cooked here. Oh, as a matter of fact, that was the day I made the um, white rice and corned beef video so I had already eaten here I wasn't hungry so why go eat over there right so I just cooked for them but the next day I had it oh my god it was so good let me tell you that the best part of that um dish was the uh, red peppers just the sweetness that it had and then the flavor of the potatoes and the meat that it took you know it was awesome So yeah guys, Q&A, ask me what you want. Feel free to ask anything you want. I want to see what ideas you come up with. Okay, these are just roasted bell peppers. I'm going to take, oh, sorry about that guys. I'm going to take one, remember, I'm using for two salads. And I'm only going to cook one box of uh, macaroni because honestly it's just me and the hubby eating it. Gabriela will have some, but she won't have a lot of it. So, I don't want to have that refrigerator forever. So, it's me and the hubby, basically. So, I'm taking the one box of uh, elbow macaroni, and I'm going to, once it's already cooked, I'm going to divide it in two. And, um, yeah, we're going to make one ham one and one crab meat one. Okay, guys? Guys, if you guys like olives, you can add, add olives to this. You can, like I said, you can make it your own and add anything that you like in that salad. You know the veggies you like, you know, you know. By the way, these don't have a crunch. This is just flavor. So if these are a little bigger, I don't mind it. It blends in really well with the macaroni texture. So yeah. I'm going to explain this grater to you guys in a little bit. As soon as I'm done doing this and checking the water. Oh, the water's already boiling for my macaroni, so you guys are gonna follow me. Seriously, all I'm gonna do is put it in, in there. That's it. Okay. Leave that here. Let me rinse my hands and I'll be right back. Okay guys, as you can see, water is already boiling. Excuse my mess. Just got home from the gym. I don't know if you can tell. All the macaroni, the whole box in there. Well, give it a quick swoosh. You know what I mean when I say swoosh, right? Okay, nothing sticky. It's perfect. Box says, I think, 8 to 10 minutes. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, for the whole box. Yeah, 8 minutes. I like to leave mine for 10 minutes. I don't like that al dente. I feel it too hard. So, yeah, while that's getting done, Let's get back to, um, you know, chopping stuff. Okay, guys, now we're back. 
what I wanted to show you what I do with this grater is my onions guys I have enough crunch with the um, bell peppers the green bell peppers and another thing is I don't like big chunks of onions guys I cannot stand it it has to be diced smaller than this but I don't want to do all that dicing I've done it before yeah I'm bored of it so what I do guys now I just grate it easier and I don't have all them big chunks of onion and I grate it on this side guys And you cry this because this is done real quick. And you guys, this was like a small to medium salad. I mean, ah, onion. What I'm doing is I'm taking all the onion out of the back. And yeah, this is about how much onion I'm going to use. I'm going to divide that. I'm going to use a little bit for over there and a little bit for over here. Same thing with the green peppers. Divide that and divide that for both salads. Okay, guys? I like this method because... I don't have the big chunks of onion and because you don't I don't cry doing this I, I'm already done let me know if anybody else does it like this it's just way easier you know who I got this from I got this from Rachel Ray like when she does her meatballs or burgers and stuff like that she just grates the onion right over it it makes sense guys coming to check up on my macaroni perfect Oh, I didn't even put a timer for 10 minutes, but let's say it's been two minutes. I'll just put a timer for eight minutes. That way I won't forget. Guys, believe me, I have to put timers on because I am forgetful. I don't know what's going on in the brain. I don't know if I'm on vacation or it's in a coma. I don't know what's wrong with it. But, yeah, I forget everything, guys. See, it's been maybe about two minutes. So, yeah, we're just going to leave that there. Okay guys, so I'm taking this um, cutting board, I'm going to set it aside, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to use this one guys, it is not dirty, it's just one of those that you buy at Sam's Club and it's stained, but um, trust me, it's clean. Okay guys, so what I want to do now is cut up my, um, wait, it's crooked. What I, I have a bowl here, and what I want to do now is cut up my imitation crab meat. Okay guys. Great. Let me push some down so I don't cut through it. I'm just gonna cut through it anyways. Whoa, sorry about that guys. There you go. Pick me. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty it out here. Like I said, I just bring a small pack, like I said. Basically the hubby and me. And I don't like it in chunks like this either, guys. Oh, my God. You guys must think I'm cray-cray. I'm not cray-cray, guys. It's just everybody knows what they like. You know what I mean? And I do not like it like this. I like to cut it. But, so, put that aside. See, there's already sh it shreds. So, I just cut it. Like in four little pieces once I start mixing it it'll start mixing on its own you know opening up on its own and I'm gonna show you guys I do not like to put the mayonnaise or anything over the noodles I pre-mix it that's how I do my potato salad too guys I pre-mix everything in the bowl and then just pour it over the um, potatoes that's for when I make my potato salad I don't like to bother the potato salad too much. I don't like I like to feel a little bit of chunks in my potatoes. I don't like it completely mashed. So, but that's going to be another video. Maybe by the end of this week also, the hubby's feeling better. I'm making this for him because he wants something cool for his stomach. I don't know. I think it was a stomach flu or something, but yeah, the same thing Gabby had, but I think it's lasted longer with him. Well, he is older, so I'm assuming Gubby's um, antibodies are stronger. Not sure, though. All right, guys. I have all the crab meat that's in here that I cut up in the bowl. This is how I do it. I put one, two big ones of these. 
know what? Let me add three because the pasta's not even here yet. Three of these. And for my sour cream, one minute. For my sour cream, I mix it because I like it really. I add two of those spoons also. Then I like to add maybe two tablespoons of um, of what? Evie, what? Get it out, girl. Two tablespoons of mm, milk of your choice, guys. Okay, guys, now I'm going to grab half of my green peppers and I'm going to dunk them in here, guys. Half of my red peppers. Just let you guys see, right? And then half of the onion. These are the things that go in here. And I need to move the spoon so I can mix it. And I'm also going to grab pepper, guys. And there goes my um, timer for my pasta. Let me drain it and put it in cold water, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So, yes, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to add pepper to it. Add pepper to taste, guys, and salt to taste. I didn't add too much. Remember, our pasta, although you're going to rinse it, it's still going to remain with a little bit of um, salt. I tasted it while it was cooking, guys. You can actually add four teaspoons of salt just so, to make sure, you know, it's nice and seasoned. And then here I have half of the pasta, uh, elbow pasta, macaroni pasta. I'm just adding it in here. I'm giving this a quick mix, guys. And I will show you in a minute. Here you go, guys. Look at this. Look at all the beautiful colors that are in there. It smells so good. You can smell the peppers. You can smell the onions. It's going to be delicious. So... I'm just going to put this in a bowl to rest. It might be a little runnier now, but as it sits, guys, it'll thicken up a little bit. Let me get a bowl so I can put it in. I'll be right back. So here you have it, guys. This is what it looks like. Nice and creamy. And now we're going to work on the ham one. Basically the same thing. You're changing off the crab meat for the ham. It's going to be the same thing, but I will show you. Okay, guys, here I am. I just rinsed my bowl. I'm going to add half a pack of the... Uh, Cubed ham, guys, just half. Like I said, small portion. Here it is. Again, the same thing. I'm going to add two big, um, not even tablespoons from the measuring thing, just these two really big ones that you have at home. That one wasn't full. Okay, we're doing that. We're doing two of the um, sour cream also. If you guys don't like sour cream, you don't have to add it. I like the little tang of it. So yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of salt. And we're gonna do a little bit of pepper. My pepper grinder is empty, guys. It's been empty. I just haven't bought the little balls of, <laughs> the little balls of uh, pepper. And now we're just going to empty out the, um, oops, sorry guys, the rest of the red peppers, the green peppers, I hate this sound, and onions, guys. See, just going to put it all in there. We're going to get this, oh, I left my spoon, here we go. Rinsed it. We're going to mix all this around also, same way guys, same difference. Okay. I need a little bit more mayo, guys. Guys, add as much or as little mayonnaise as you like. I like it creamy, so I add more. There are people who don't like it that much or don't like mayo that much. Like I said, make the salad your own, guys. You add and you take away whatever you want. I'm just telling you how I make mine. You know what I mean? That's mine. You want everybody in the pool, guys. 
Okay. Now I'm going to go get my pasta and I'm going to dump it in here. Giving this a good mix. Yeah. What it looks like, guys, I'm gonna have to get another little bit of mayo. This jar is done. I'm just gonna add like another big one of these. I do have a little bit more pasta on this one. And here it is, guys. One more of these big tablespoons that you have at home. So I'm gonna mix that. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it looks so good. I love these salads. These are my go-to salads when I have dinner at my house. And of course the green leaf, you know, the green salad also, or mixed salad. And um, summer salads, guys, when it's hot, uh, the hubby and me, we don't like to eat anything hot, so we just do salads, we do subs, stuff like that. Stuff that's going to keep us cool, okay guys? So let me get a bowl for this and I'll be right back. Guys, I forgot to add pepper, just like the other one. You add pepper to taste, okay guys? As much or as little as you want, and if you don't like pepper, just omit it. If you guys like a sweeter version of salad, you can use the Miracle Whip mayo. Or just add like a little bit, a fourth of a teaspoon to this. A lot of people do it that way too. It's up to you how you guys like, okay? Okay guys, this is a close up of this salad. The color, the creaminess, it's delicious guys. I'm gonna put them both together and show you. And there you have it guys, macaroni salad with ham and macaroni salad with um, imitation crab meat. I'm gonna lit a, lit a little plate and serve myself. So guys, here it is, both salads. I am gonna give them a try. Just gonna have a little bit, guys. It's still early, I just wanna taste them. Oh, I forgot to get a spoon for this one, but I got a fork. You would think they have the same taste. Well, they only do because of the macaroni, but honestly, uh, the seafood flavor does spread around, so it does change the flavor, guys. So, there goes my dog barking outside. I'm gonna do the seafood one first. Mm-hmm. So good. Imitation crab meat, a little bit nice and sweet. Not extra sweet though, guys. And then, here's the ham one. Mm. Totally two different things, guys. One box of pasta meal, and pasta salad, good. Mm. So good. A crunch of the pepper, I'm loving it. Oh god, I'm hungry. Mm. I'm gonna make some yellow rice today. I just going to this and some pork chops. I'm Puerto Rican guys, pork chops. And these salads, whichever one they want. So guys, I hope you try this salad. If you make yours and you make it different, let me know. So I can find a new way to make it. Because I know there's so many ways. But guys, this is just my way, the way I make it, okay guys? Oh, for this ham one. You can actually boil two eggs, make them nice and hard, and then just chop them up and mix them in there too. I've seen people do that. I'm not a fan of the egg in this salad, but people make it that way. So guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much. Um, share, like, and subscribe, and let me know if you like this salad. Okay? So I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. God bless.